Okay, go to the Bible, Second, second Timothy. Ta, chapter 3, verse 1. This know also, this preacher called Timothy was told. And so is every Christian that follows Christ. This know also that in the last days, uh, we don't have to know how to put a rocket together, be a rocket scientist, to know what's going on around us today. <laughs> It, it, this world, this crazy world is going down for the count. This know also that in the last days, the time we live in right now, perilous or dangerous times shall come. Perilous or dangerous times shall come. And uh, that's a sign, we tell you again, of the coming rapture that is right on us, coming on us, the rapture of the church. Jesus Christ to snatch the church away from this planet. Take them back to heaven. So then all these pearliest things will be a thing of the past. There was a time when the hotten season opens. The game there was the animals. But what's going on today? The game now is Kill the cops. And that's one only one thing. So many things goes on that you can label it as police times. So many things. Terrorist attack. Oh. Bad things are going on. This points to what the Bible says. Notice it says, the last days. When the Bible points it out to you like, this will be the last time. When all these crazy things will be happening. It actually means it's the last time. <laughs> Before the rapture. So wake up. Wake up. The rapture is upon us. Because of what's going on in, in the world. And right here the, the Christians are addressed. It's not, it's not outside the church. The church people. Verse 2, 3, 4. Five, she's talking about believers. For men, Christians, shall be, and this is the bad things in the church. There are bad things in the world. There are bad things in the church. Shall be lovers of their own selves. We we act like Cain. We say, "Am I the keeper of my brother?" Love is absent. So they shall be lovers of their own selves. Then it says, "Covetous."
They say there's a whole lot of Christians on the res. They claim to be Christians. And then there's a whole lot of stealing going on. Stealing from the governments. U.S. government, tribal government. All because Christians are covetous. This is how I'm going to get my money. It's always that dollar sign in the eyes. They shall be lovers of their own selves. What motivates them? Money. <laughs> covetous. Boasters. Look what I got with my money. Boasters. I'm bigger than you. My church is bigger than yours. Proud. The word proud is of the devil. Jesus says, I am meek and lowly in heart. Amen. So this is opposite of what he said he is. Proud. Pride is of the devil. So in the church there will be proud Christians full of the devil. Okay? <laughs> Blasphemers. Some Christians, they don't know they're blaspheming. They talk too much. When you talk too much, you're liable to make many mistakes with your words. And the preachers preach another Jesus. They don't want to go to the route of Jesus Christ and Him crucified. They preach Jesus, the money Jesus, the prosperity Jesus. Just the plain old Jesus. So in the eyes of God, even though they preach Jesus, they're blasphemers because they don't preach the foundation. The foundation is Jesus Christ and His cross. Amen. They're not preaching that. Oh, the preachers may sound so great, so good. The preachers may sound like they, they can easily cast out devils out of people. The preachers will sound like they have truly the right way but when they don't have the blood of Jesus on them they're lost Amen. they're blasphemers and all sort of other blaspheming and rejecting the cross and, and rejecting Jesus and his sacrifice that's blaspheming folks so you know, don't end up there, all because you become so religious in the church. Disobedient to parents. We don't look very far. We look to your house. What are the kids doing? They are not taught the right way to live. So they bang up on their parents. And they disobey their parents. They're going their own way down towards hell because of their disobedient. Unthankful. You hear very rarely somebody saying, Thank you, God. But as a sincere Christian, blood bought Christian, you are to be so full of thanks, so thankful, 
so gracious to God, unholy, they may um, parade their religiosity in the church, but no blood of Christ on them. They may say they are holy, they may say they are clean, they may say they are born again, they may say they are the perfect Christians. Well, when the blood of Jesus is in their spirit, in their hearts, they are unholy in the eyes of God. Unthankful, unholy, disobedient to parents. Without natural affection. What God teaches out of the Bible, they ain't got it. Natural affection. What we're supposed to know. What the natural things are that, that is taught in the Bible. No natural affection. Truth breakers. Ah, they act like the world. Truce breakers, covenant breakers, contract breakers. So don't, don't end up like a contract breaker. Fix it up. False accusers. False accusers, they're so abundant in the church. False accusing is a the trademark. Almost all uh, the church world. False accusing. That's the work of the devil. If there's such a thing as being a false accuser in our hearts, we better get rid of that thing. Because it's of the devil. Incontinent. No self-control. Self-control is absent. Anything goes. You go to church, come out of the church, and anything goes the rest of the time. And that's bad. That's no control there, no self-control. Fierce. Now that's ugly, fierce. Preachers are very fierce nowadays. Christians are fierce. Instead of have a kind, mercy, grace, those things are absent. They are fierce comes from the devil. Despisers of those that despisers of those who are good. The good ones are the blood bought. And the church people despise the blood covered Christians. Something's wrong there. That's what it means, despisers of those who are good. Because Jesus said, nobody is good except God. And if you put the blood of Jesus on you, he'll call you good. Despisers of those who are good. If you have been despised, well, happy are you. You should get happy. Because you are right. Traitors. The Christians, traitors. Yes, that's what the Bible says. This is what's going to happen. In the last days, traitors, heady, always ahead of the crowd, and always have the loudest voice, heady. The kicker, heady. The screamer, the yeller. <laughs> High-minded. Oh, they, 
they're so proud of being so wise when God will call them stupid, high-minded in the world. There are high-mindedness. In the church right here, it says there will be high-mindedness. Lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. What happened here? We're supposed to love God more than anything else. Right here it says, the Christians will love pleasures. So, the world has pleasures. The world is going down to hell. Pleasure mad. Right here it says, the last days, the church will be going to hell. Pleasure mad. Pleasures more than the lovers of God. Having a form of godliness. That's the culture. That's the church. We can say we are of God. We belong to God. That we are saved. Godliness. It's just a form. There's no truth in it. We're lost. That's what it's going to be. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power of these are the words of the Holy Ghost. What he said then, a long time ago, it applies to us now. Denying the power thereof. Denying God's power. God's power that is derived through the blood of Jesus. Denying the power thereof. And then we're told, what? Huh? From such, turn away, she ought to. From such, turn away. Dikwane, keri yoskal, keri yoskal no yizhe ko, khashin sa, keri yoskal to lesko aishinam. A khwande chuti nde galadi, a khwot ehege church gana, di church gana yahajna ton le tlotata. Church at Ege at Zago, D. Zago, E. Ketios Castle, no, Ketios Castnego, Kada, Jesus, Church Nedi, Glo Ice, Nedo Les. It's for us, Christ, I adjure. Is that D. Zago, Ketios Castle, no one, Haitza, Junde has three, a bit a yo that ought need on, Hats yo ought not the Nebuchadnezzar Queen at ten. Covetous. Covetous. Church Go <laughs> Cohort Ed on this shanty be Katie or Scott or no on the Zog it eat him. I call Katie or Scott, a dad Jesus church lady, Tlela, to the nose. The upper day or that old needle. A chatty del netto, at the corner, to the latty that egg and all yet a slate or done. Christians were done. Christians, you know, latty to never care for Kaya had no. ก็คือจะให้เด่นเนี่ยที่เชคก็ตอนเลยสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิส
the only way you're going to be away from the, the crowd here that is mentioned is you be covered with the blood of Jesus. You're away from them. Jesus Christ with the guest you are at the Kotata or Natalie Church to Tran Lindado. Ago Hashit ever Kahuin Zendo, Ahuin Zengo, Led in Dacia, Garden in La Lost Lagil. Aya at Tendona at Tendo. I don't. As God did, and the Tito, Ado, your Chigi, Ketahoti, Ato, Ado, Tohota Alnid, Ado, Tobazit, Beta Holzit, Beta Hatzet or Lesna, Ado, Hesitan Jonia, Ed, the Josad or Les, the Yutzitona, Ado, not a deed, ah, not a deed, ah, Ado. Hardly any lovers of God there. Right there in that picture. And then so many church people will only have form of godliness. Only form. No power inside. No blood of Jesus inside. They will deny. They don't want the power. They don't want the blood of Jesus. So people will be like this in the last days we're told and we're told the instruction is turn away from such people from such church Oh, that's, that's, a, that's not a, a just a, a little instruction to turn away. We are demanded to turn away. We are commanded to turn away Amen. from such lifestyles. And if we're in them, with them, we better get under the cross, get changed. Amen. We better get our hearts washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. So where are the church going? Well, uh, they're getting ready for the Antichrist. Uh, Mega churches, the institutionalized churches, the great denominations uh, all over the world mostly they're teaching social anything but just right here social it's called social gospel social and the ploy is the church be deceived, be taken away from what is the truth, what Jesus is, what the cross is, what salvation is, what going to heaven is. The devil is smart. He's taking the church little by little. He's not taking it all at once. He's been doing it for like one century now. <laughs> so 
slowly but surely he's taking the church to the wrong place that's what it is now they're teaching people are teaching they're deceived the devil is deceived who deceived him himself and then he deceived the church and now the deceived church is preaching what they're deceived with all the down through the hundreds or the tens of years they're deceived slowly now they're teaching we got to have good people we're going to change the lives of people uh, we got to have a good education system we got to have a good health system all these things that you hear today it's of the antichrist those are just words nothing true nothing real thing in it in those things and uh, we will come together business wise with uh, politics with the home with the church put it all together we'll work as one it's called one world government that's what they're preaching and they're also called globalists that's in the church so right here what we read is part of it it's because of because of the deceived church because of the globalists this is how it's coming out people are bad in the church so we're talking about the whole thing around the world what's going on around the world don't, don't run out of here and say he's talking about me just just let you know what's going on in the world so Jesus is not changed at all this shot in yahut got o God yet all yard or over the Aliago or Tlandon, but Zilia Bahatan. Deep it's an old carnation, what is me now? What now Sanda at a yo a close, no Sanda at all church, when church yo but all close. There's nothing that's an achatid a joke, a joke, a joke which eat you when Arsenus, when Arsenus, when Arsenus, Ade Honea. There's not Naha, who are there who are near you, who the issue cut a door was at a house and the church at a head of was better house and the garbage and the Havad or was better house and the Ako, be your hood or Asia, eight a was better house and a church that was in the Ako a social. That's a say a car a year that Nini ate a cart or was a baby, all cut in the journal, or next other Washington, the night and no beans, a don't journal, or next other in the who walk on the yard ego in Nachins, the journal, or darling, that I thought I caught a nigger that kid, but I in now, but I'm journal no cotton kidney, said John. social. As and the cross, yes, that the ne are in the church. To are they his need or the Washington do are the cousin art and the son and any church up a star at a deed. No son, how that the journal what that the need no son. They say they're going to improve the world, but you know, huh? It doesn't work. <laughs> the world is not improving. It's going crazy. It's going insane. It's going down. They're not changing it. Their gospel is not changing it. Job kita to to sah to to setan kille ko dan na uch idi tasigod e in yes setan kille. Jesus said, or that Jesus does not change. Amen. The way we are commanded to preach, we should preach it. Amen. With the foundation of Jesus Christ and Him crucified. The Lord. That's the instruction given by God to the church. 
They were not told to preach the gospel with social. Helping the humans with social things. No, we're not instructed to be social workers. We're told to preach the gospel to souls. Preach the gospel so the souls will repent. Come to Jesus Christ. Come to God the right way. With the blood of Jesus on them, they'll be saved. We're told that. I'm talking to you with a very limited English. Because I'm an Indian. Don't matter. I'm trying to point you to Jesus Christ the best I know how. Amen. With the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus doesn't change. Amen. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, says the Bible. Hallelujah. And I believe it. Amen. And I stand on those words. Hallelujah. He does not change. God does not change. So we go to Revelation 1. John, the apostle says, Revelation 1 verse 10, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. It's a Sunday. <laughs> and heard behind me a great voice. As of a trumpet. Imagine that. The sound of a trumpet. It's not a little sound, so it's a trumpet. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, which means the first and the last. It's the Lord Jesus. He's the God we serve. He's the God Almighty that the blood bought church serves. He is the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. That's, that's what it means, the first and the last, Alpha and Omega. And what you see right in the book, Jesus is talking to John here. And send it unto the church, seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto the Tyre, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia. There was such a church called Philadelphia. And unto Laodicea. Seven churches there. And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto, he recognized who this is, the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to his foot, and girt about the paps or the chest with a golden girdle on the chest. His head and his hairs were like white wool, pure and clean. Uh, as white as snow, it says. So he is holy. He is Almighty God. Amen. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. That's Jesus. Amen. And his feet like unto fine brass as if they burn in a furnace. Amen. And his voice is the sound of many waters. You ever heard of fall like Niagara Fall? That's the kind of sound. So there you see, we see Jesus. 
We see Jesus right there. Amen. He's the same. Like the way John saw right there, Jesus does not change. Kunnashore. <laughs> Churches at the in Asia, Emphasis, Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, Laodicea, Court Church, the Libra, the Nasi <laughs> Because <laughs> Binna <laughs> Today's Christians. Such a. Erota. Jesus, a yard egg, they not land. So, Zado benust erda. Shields at all. Been taken slender. Ope. The old land I did water. Unlazy hidden zone, the old lap alone. Listen, echo. All that are nerd at all. Go with this bit harder, this gizzy get Do Kataga, Jesus, he got a door, the nan need a katigi. Skidai, the neck, Jesus, he got, Jesus, he got it on need the Adozada. Cut in the Edith Bears and Bible Bears, even at Yego de Notla. Verse 17 says, I am he who lives. Shaking, snuggling, and slant, all on his wonder. And was dead, does it sound that? And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. <laughs> Some pitiful Navajo religion won't say such. Muslims' religion don't say such. Sir, so all the 10,000 religions, they don't say it. But this one here, Jesus Christ, he said, I was dead. And behold, I live forevermore. 
That means he rose from the dead Hallelujah. to live forever. And he says, I have the keys of hell and death. He's the master. Amen. He alone determines who will enter death and hell and who will not. He's the one you worship. Amen. The right way is you come to the cross. Amen. Ask for the blood of Jesus to come into you. Be washed in the blood of Jesus. Let him wash you in his blood. Save you. Amen. Save. Get saved. When you get saved, you'll know. You'll know when you're a change. You'll have a changed life. That will mean you have a reborn, reborn experience. You are created new. Yeah. Old passing, gone, passed away. You are the new creature. So worship God that is everlasting, that lives everlasting. Worship God that does not change. Come to him through the way of the cross of Christ. Come preach and teach and believe Jesus Christ and him crucified. Come back to the right way, the Bible way. The right way to make it to heaven. And that's Jesus Christ and his blood. He sacrifice. Gives you life forever. Makes you to get to heaven and live forever. Come, every soul, my sin.